Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with Lark and his mate Cinder as we continue on with trying to uncover some of the mysteries between the different wolf pack territories here in our Generation 4 adventures with the Dawn Moon Pack. And Lark is actually quite concerned because the Junction Butte Pack has their scent all over here. And the Junction Butte Pack like, yeah, Stranger Wolves from the Junction Butte Pack. Junction Butte Pack shouldn't really be scented. They, I mean, they've clawed their way up here a little bit, but they should be all the way down south. And I think that that's concerning Lark a bit, that they have pushed their way so far north. He does remember back when he was a pup, they really controlled all of the cliffs and hillsides and forests down to the south, where he was raised, to the point where his mother Demeter actually finished with the smallest territory ever out of any of our wolf quest wolves of this arc of our generations and he remembers them being as very strong foes and look at this they're leaving like almost all of their territory weakened so that they can try to like push north in some sort of battle with the crevice lake pack what the heck so we're gonna push our way in here and do our best to try to just establish some kind of territory of our own. It looks like, look, all of the wolf packs are kind of converging and instead of defending, wow, I've never seen it so patchworked like this actually. And instead of defending their own edges of their territories, it looks like everybody is like pressing towards the middle, right where we're trying to establish our territory. And you can see where they're really pushing hard against each other. So Junction Butte and Crevice Lake seem to be be having a little bit of dispute and we do not want to get caught in the middle however the only way to prevent that is by going ahead and establishing ourselves oh the fox just dove into the, the snow for a little mouse oh that was so cute oh, also seven well sorry about that we're supposed to be really serious right now <clears throat> But the only way that we can really carry on with keeping this area safe enough for it to be our own is if we go ahead and establish ourselves in our presence. And I feel like Lark is used to thinking of himself as being somewhat weak, but now he has someone that he wants to fight for. A lot of little someones that I'm hoping are going to be born this, this time, actually. Alright, come on. Okay, so let's see. Oh, good! The scent mark is just like right here. Oh, there's some bison! Oh my goodness, I can just imagine his legs like trembling as he's trying to go ahead and encourage himself. Yes, we did it! Oh, we finally did it! I, I could see him being so nervous that he'd be like shaking a little bit to try to confront those bison. But we marked off another good spot of territory. How are we still- we have 16 hexes! We found 11 dens! 13 if you count the ones we haven't discovered all the way yet, but like, I know we're down here. And we still don't have enough room?! <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright, well, let's go ahead and we'll start heading south again and kind of mark those. Because we have one, two, three spots that are getting a little bit low. Oh, and that's probably why. Alright, we'll leave those by sun away. And Lark's going to invest his energy into just trying to push the stranger wolves back through using scent marks and just letting them know that there are wolves here. We'll ignore those foxes because he's on a mission. And yeah, Junction Butte stranger wolves are just right to the edge over there. That's so odd. But we'll have to go ahead and take a risk of destroying some of the stronger scent posts of the, yeah, right over here, of the Crevice Lake Pack. All right, so their scent post is this way. Oh, look here. Yeah, the Junction Butte Wolves were right here. What were they doing this far north? They were just strolling straight through Crevice Lake territory. We better move quickly. The Crevice Lake Pack will probably back off if we have our scents established super strong because that would be yet another wolf pack that the Crevice Lake pack might not want to fight with. All right, please, 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 where is that? There it is, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and wiggle down and we're gonna do our best. Yes, I know it's very close to stranger wolves. We do not want to stay here forever. All right, let's see, got 28. Look at this, oh my goodness. Okay, so I think we should be able to go ahead and claim this soon. I'm gonna go ahead and howl. Very risky, but I feel like Lark is starting to find his own voice. 
which is really amazing to think about. A lark is a type of bird that sings very beautifully after all. So maybe this is how he's finding his own voice. All right. Oh, almost there. Yeah, actually howling is really helping us. You know what? A lot of our wolves will kind of be timid and they won't howl because we don't want to like end up picking a fight or like having to confront someone about territory. But I think the lark would be willing to, to put a little bit of voice to it and howl somewhat because that really helps us take over territory a lot faster. Also, are we any closer? <laughs> Still two weak, what the heck? I feel like I've never had this happen before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We need one more spot. One more spot. And then we'll be ready to have these puppies. <laughs> I think we'll go ahead and maybe move back over towards the dens that we were, we were thinking about having them at and take over this spot for sure. Ugh, but we're so close to just, ugh. okay, we'll be back. And I wonder, does howling after you've taken over a spot help increase your territory? I think it does. We're at 65 right now. Oh, there we go. Cinder is starting to find her voice too. Maybe she just needed like a great example of someone feeling bold enough. We're at 70. And if I howl, we should probably be howling a lot more. That's probably how Lark is just going to be like trying to establish. Yes, that's 10 per- what the heck? We're howling like all the way. Forget this nonsense. Lark has found his voice. That's so much more effective than just- look at that 90? Oh, yes! Mule deer, it's your lucky day. Lark's too busy. He's focusing on other things. Also today, Lark rolled the inability to catch any- Oh, did we get it to 100? We got it to 100! He's gonna just howl everywhere! This is gonna be perfect! This is a much better way to try to go ahead and establish territory. I love it. Also, yay! Let's go ahead and leave this lucky rabbit's foot for Cinder. And then let's go and claim the last spot we need for our puppies, guys. Because I think Cinder is extremely uncomfortable and ready to have some babies of her own. Cinder, I didn't walk far enough away for you to be able to eat the hair carcass, but we'll say we shared it. No, Fox Fox, you can't eat it. All right, let's see. We're gonna wiggle. Yep, kind of just directly this way. So a lark has found his voice. And we'll be using it copiously. Because I think this is even better than scent marking. To really just get get things all squared away. There we go. You guys are going to be hear hearing a lot out of him. I wonder if that means we'll end up like having a pup. There's a moose having a puppy who really, really, really loves. There we go. We'll leave this one for Cinder howling and like only wants to take territory over by howling and then like the only other thing is you can like maybe set mark once that would be a pretty intense challenge coyotes a family of coyotes trying to come over here we'll howl again wow i just love that he has found his voice and he's actually using it in Oop, and she's starting to find her voice Oh, this is going to be so cool, you guys. I really am happy for these two. I've been kind of nervous about Lark because he is not a very strong wolf, but maybe one of the perks we'll pick for him as he gets a little bit older is one of strength. We'll have to see. And there we go. Two spots at 100. He's going to take this really seriously. All right. Let's move it. Come on, Cinder. Sorry that I keep cutting off your howling, too. Is this a beaver trail? Wait a second here. Where does this go? Interesting. We'll investigate that later. All right. Are we angled the right spot? We can go ahead and turn sharply to the east. Last spot, last spot, last spot, last spot. The snow is beginning to fall. Cinder is ready to have these puppies. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, Cinder! 
A blizzard is setting in. Oh my goodness. Yay! She hunted for herself, which is so great to see. Here, like, you want to get up? Oh, <laughs> well, I was going to take a picture of you up there, buddy, but that's okay. All right. You know what? There we go. A lark finds his voice. All right, let's keep going. Come on, Zender. We can finally have those babies if we can just manage one more freaking spot of territory. And then, oh, and then we also have to go to the den. And the trick with Lark is that if he ends up getting to the den and we roll a four, then we have to say he was so clumsy somehow, since that's his fault, is that he is very clumsy. And that gives us the challenge that we're really struggling against. Anything else we smell here? Oh, it's so beautiful. And if he rolls a four, we'll have to, like, not use that den. But thankfully, I was worried about that, but we found, like, 11 other dens. So I think it's going to be fine. All right, time to destroy this last scent post. And then once we do that, we'll go ahead and start howling. Hopefully not picking a fight. There it is! Finally! Puppies, puppies, puppies. Come on, puppies. Come on. Getting a little closer. Yes. And, whew, okay. All right, so we've destroyed their scent post. And now, it's down to 10% already. Boom. There we go. It was that easy. We've done it! You've established a good territory and found potential den sites. Yes! Lark of the Dawn Moon Pack. Let's do this. Uh, don't include pack. Yeah, just Dawn Moon. There we go. We've done it! Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to choose a den. Our territory is finally established, you guys! Wait! All right, time is moving. The pups will be born soon. Now that the snow is beginning to melt, it's time to find a good den site. Oh, all right. So we already know where we want to go. How is our territory? Look at our beautiful territory. We're going to have so much howling. It's going to be amazing. I'm really proud of our boy lark. Is this at 100? Not at 100 yet. We can fix that. Three more howls. There we go. And let's have these puppies, you guys. I'm so proud of him for finding his voice. And this is my first time actually being able to use the perks as well. All right. But I think we might have a good nap before we go ahead. And let's see. Let's howl. We might have a good nap before we go ahead and actually have the puppies too. Because we need some energy to keep up with the little ones. <laughs> All right, and then onwards. This is so cool. Finally, finally, finally. Guys, this is generation five. Generation five of the Dawn Moon Pack that is going to be born. I'm very, very, very much looking forward to this because we set that ridiculous goal all that time ago. I can't believe it's been so many months, but maybe it's a great example of setting goals that you guys might be able to learn from. But we set that goal of being able to get to 10 generations of our moon pack. And then when we split them into the dawn and dark moon, we have a goal of getting to 10 generations uh, with them. All right, let's go ahead and take a nap so that we have the energy to keep up with our puppies. We might need two naps. That was a lot of like growing that Lark has to do as well. So excited, so excited. Come on puppies, come on puppies. There you go, boy. All right. And then, oh, it's a beautiful, you know what? It's a beautiful night with the moon rising. Oh, look at him. Whoops, okay, well, that's okay, Lark. I was gonna try to get a picture of you, but that's fine. And then our territory needs to be reestablished re a little bit, but with the, the beautiful moonlight, with Cinder going ahead and being so ready to have these babies, you guys, 
Let's welcome in the new puppies. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and call this um, tonight. I really feel like it's part of the moonlight. Um, the night howled in. There we go. That's what we're gonna name it this time. And now it's time to have some puppy for being able to raise, oh, it's our birthday. Your pups will be born any day now, which means it's your birthday too. Okay, so we need to go ahead and we're going to figure out if we're gonna advance in age. And that means you have survived another year as a wild wolf in Yellowstone. Now, if you like, you can advance a year in age. With age comes changes, some good, sometimes, sometimes good, sometimes not. Review your choices and decide if you want to advance or stay as you are a two-year-old wolf. So, we are not very strong and we don't have very good stamina. So we could choose to get more strength, a little more health. We could go ahead and have a bit more speed. We could have more stamina. You could have youthful prowess, which actually means you're more likely to have a larger litter of pups next year. Uh, some of you guys say that that makes your current litter really small. So we'll have to think about that. Sick pups are more likely to recover. Competitors are more likely to flee. Um, competitors are more likely to be frightened when you growl or snarl at them because we're young and strong. Prospective mates are more interested when you meet them. More rival wolves are courtable. We'll think about that. You could also have fun parent which is social and play emotes boost pack affinity faster. Pups never get tired of socializing. Ah, <sighs> so what should we do? I feel like Lark has really learned to become a lot stronger. And if we give him that, I wonder if eventually those perks start stacking and you could pass them on to your pups. So, oh, you get three? Oh, I thought you only got like one of them. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna select stamina, I think. And we're going to select strength. And then I kind of want to select youthful prowess for for Lark this time. Because there's just something about him, his resolute like behavior, the way that he howls in the distance that kind of makes the other wolves sort of keep away. And he's also very observant and was very sick as a puppy in multiple ways. I mean, a, he like got sick all the time. B, he got stepped on by a bison. So he's more likely to really keep an eye on and take care of his pups. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven puppies! It has been a long time since we've had that many. We have one, two, three, four, five, six girls and one boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have never had a lineup like that before, guys. All right. Well, I would like you guys to welcome to the group. We're going to go ahead and have, let's see, Dove. We're going to have Raven. We're also going to have, let's see, let's see, Swallow, after different birds, and these are all names that you guys have suggested. And then we're gonna have Bristle and Soot for the, the little ones. And then let's see, I can only name one more. Um, then you know what, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have Mink, because I think that those are all adorable names. Uh, and then our only little boy, our only little boy, we're actually going to go ahead and we are going to name, I have to make my decision right now, do I want it to be Luck or do I want it to be Atlas the Second? I, I, I think we're going to go with Atlas the Second after the bear butt biter ancestor that we're going to say Lark has somehow dreamed about. So there we go. Oh my gosh okay guys what the puppies look like you'll have to find out next time so if you guys could do please leave a like for one very proud papa lark and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye